It's the National Football League on EA Sports, and we'll get to see a battle for conference superiority. It's the Los Angeles Chargers and the Arizona Cardinals, and it's all up next. EA Sports coverage of the NFL takes us to the Valley of the Sun and State Farm Stadium here in Glendale. Alongside my partner, Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gunn. Happy to be with you. And, CD, as we get this thing going, give the folks at home something to keep their eye on. The running game for both teams, because I think this is going to be an old-fashioned, old-school type of a game. Physical. Who wins up front? Who runs the ball the best and controls the clock? They will come out the victor. Now the kicker, that's Cameron Dicker, set to get us started. And we are underway here on EA Sports. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, call it the 26. The Cardinals offense heading out, and they do so behind Kyler Murray, their dynamic quarterback in his sixth season now from Oklahoma. And now that he's back at full health, they're expecting Kyler to get back to being the superstar playmaker that they drafted. Make no mistake about it, when he's fully healthy, there are many quarterbacks who are as dynamic as he is. And if he's able to stay on the field, this team has a real chance to make some noise. First play and a first pass for Murray. Finding his target, it's Trey McBride. The game's first play produces six yards, brings up second down. It certainly feels like there are more stars at the tight end position than there were even 10 years ago. And I think it's become more of a glamour position because of the ways it can hurt a defense, and guys want to be involved. They can be in line, close to the line of scrimmage. They can split out like receivers. But hands, route running, speed, and some toughness to go across the middle, you put it all together, you get a heck of a tight end candidate. It's a gain of 11 and a Cardinal first down. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. They'll run for the first time with James Conner. And he'll be taken down at about the 45. And hold on here, because on that last run, it looks like we have a player who was shaken up. Well, now they're going to come out and take a look at this injury, and we'll be back in a moment. Here's second and seven. They'll run. Here's the former Seminole. And they'll get this just to the 47. One yard gain. But not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped them. Marked that down for a win in the defense's column. Now a third and six. Murray going to throw. A short one here caught by McBride. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. That's good for a first down, his second catch of the opening drive. Many different ways to create space, but on that play, he did it with that big, wide body of his. Didn't get a whole lot of yardage on the play, but it did what it was supposed to, pick up a first down. And they'll let the quarterback keep it here on first and 10. And a good burst there right from the start as he'll get this one out near the 35. A really nice effort that time. 12 yards on the keeper, picking up the first. And this, I mean, it's certainly something to watch out for. He is not afraid to call his own number on plays like that. And here he takes it for good yardage. And we know this defense prepared all week for this, but sometimes when you see it in person, it's a whole different ball game. And all that preparation, it goes right out the window. 
And he's going to get this down near the 20-yard line. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. Really a solid start here on the opening drive, Charles. He's now 4-4, and they're already in plus territory. Brandon, he's been so precise to start this game. Like we're watching an operation taking place right now. Master Surgeon at work. Flag comes in. This might be a free play. And he's going to go down. They sack him back right around the 30. And that one was relatively easy to see. I noticed that from up here. Yeah, it doesn't take a whole lot, does it? Sometimes you get multiples. What I always love on these offsides is when each side points at the other. Hey, you <laughs> did it. No, you did it. They deciphered that one correctly. Murray now. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Picked up by Christian Fulton. And the Chargers are going to take over at their own 13-yard line. Well, Brandon, as they say in popular culture, this one's going to leave a mark because they can see the end zone, but it'll stay out of reach because of their error. All their offensive teammates have to give the quarterback right now, offer a little bit of encouragement because what's done is done. Let's get them next time out. The Chargers coming out to take over, and it is Justin Herbert at quarterback CD now in his fifth NFL campaign. And he's looking to bounce back after an injury-riddled season a year ago. Herbert, obviously one of the most talented quarterbacks in the league, but that doesn't do you any good when you're standing on the sidelines wearing a baseball cap. If this team's ever going to reach their full potential, they've got to find a way to keep him upright. And with his new head coach Jim Harbaugh in the fold, they'll do exactly that. They'll have a chance to win a lot of games with Justin Herbert on the field. Herbert going to lead up the Chargers here first and 10 at their own 13. And a flag comes in as that one falls incomplete. Well, let's see who this is on. And those linemen, of course, can't be more than a yard downfield when a pass is thrown, and they might have been able to call that on a couple of guys there. Here's a give to Dobbins running right. And he'll lose yardage and be down at the seven-yard line. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. Part of the thinking when you bring in extra tight ends, you're hoping that each of your guys gets those one-on-one -on -one blocks and creates a crease for your runner. You know what the converse is, though? You've got to win those one-on-one -on -one blocks. And when you don't, that's the result you end up with. Herbert off of play action. Now a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. Had an open man that time. They ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely. Just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Herbert now. Throw over the middle, and it's caught by Johnston. Call it a pickup of three, and also now likely a punt on their opening drive. We're scoreless after one. Charger football to start quarter number two. As they've got it with a fourth down coming up. Here's J.K. Scott now. As his first punt will come from inside his own end zone. A 39-yard punt, a return of five, and the Cardinals' great field position to start this drive as they take over first and ten.
Trying to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. And he's going to lose a yard or two. Taken down behind the line. The former number three pick, Joey Bosa, bringing the lumber that time. And this is something that we see almost every ball game that he plays in. Joey Bosa gets home. No stranger to making plays in the backfield. He loves being on this team. Loves attacking quarterbacks. Here's Murray. Flushed out right. All in all, no gain on the play, and it'll bring up third. Like it's been this negatively as he just got back to the line of scrimmage, but when you really analyze it, he took away a big play for the defense, made it an uneventful run because he avoided a sack and didn't lose yardage. Now right where this set of downs started, they need a full 10 here to pick up the first down and move the chains. And that is incomplete. Oh, that's going to hurt a bit because they needed to come through with a completion there. Now a drive that started with great field position is facing fourth down. Blake Gillikin on to punt now on fourth down. Back deep for L.A. is Darius Davis. And no return possible here as they angle this one out of bounds. The Chargers get set to go here for their second drive. They've been playing the field position game thus far. No score. Second quarter as they come up on first and ten. Here's Herbert. Short throw underneath to Hurst. And he'll be stopped at the 35, but not before he picks up seven yards. And his play caller does a nice job of giving him an easy throw to start this drive, and he takes advantage of it. The completion sets up a manageable second down. From the 35, here's second down and three. They'll run up the gut with Dobbins. And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. They were not fooling around at all, were they? Second and short, and they brought out the heavy package. Almost felt like the super heavy package against that defense, didn't it? Yeah, I don't think they expected that much beef up front, and it turned into an easy first down conversion. Right back to Dobbins on first. And slow going there as he'll only get a yard, maybe, up to the 41. Two minutes on the clock in what's been a scoreless first half. We remind you that coming up at halftime, we'll take you to Orlando and Jonathan Coachman. Coach will have highlights and analysis of this first half, one that's featured no touchdowns as of yet on either side. So his job's a little bit easier for this halftime. Need to, get the, need to get the coach some highlights here. Yes, we do. But there's an incompletion, partner, and the struggles through the air continue because so far their lack of passing production has led to a lack of points. After an incomplete pass on second down, that'll leave him trying to convert on third and nine. Now it's Herbert. He's got his target. That's complete. And he is going to have the Chargers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. That's a pretty good throw on the curl route there. Third down, and they pick up a first. Defense should be aware for that, right? They should be aware, but it was so hard sometimes. Yeah, it's not easy. Because <laughs> when, they, when they sell that route really well, you think they're going upfield, then they curl back, show their numbers to the quarterback, and complete the play. Got an open man. It's Josh Palmer. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. It's a nice completion, a little bit of run after catch as well to create the yardage that they got. But it is so tough to cover that route, the drag route, because they run it at varying speeds, because the key is to create hesitancy on the defender's part. Always so empathetic for those DBs, aren't you? And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. 11 more on that one and another first down. I like how they work the tight end on a nice little under route there. And if you're going to give him that much space, he's not even going to catch the football. He's going to run away from you a little bit. And that's exactly what he just did there, picking up extra yardage. Herbert back to the air. Dobbins on the slant route. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. The Chargers going to signal for the first of their timeouts. 
as the clock will stop with 37 seconds to play in this first half. Here we go now on first and goal. From the shotgun, here's Herbert. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. Probably smart enough to avoid the taunting rule, but I guarantee he quietly has told them, you might want to stop coming after me downfield because I just broke up another pass and took away a big shot that you were trying to succeed with. Nothing on first down, so the ball remains at the eight-yard line, second and goal. Back to throw here, Herbert. And it's caught. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. Now the Chargers will use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with just under 30 seconds to go in the first half. A couple extra tight ends are in. Third and goal from the one. Dobbins diving for the end zone, and he is in. Touchdown. Well, nothing fancy there, Charles. You had three tight ends on the field. They were going to run the football. The defense knew it, but the defense couldn't stop them. And I haven't met an offensive line yet that doesn't get more satisfaction out of running the football into the end zone than pass protecting. They had determination on their side, and they got it done. And for the extra point, Cameron Dicker. And the Chargers grab the 7-0 lead. So that one a long 11-play drive. And it's finished off by a touchdown run from J.K. Dobbins. Here's Dicker now as he'll send this one away. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. And the Cardinals going to get the football one final time here in this first half. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. A little over 20 seconds remaining in the half as they'll line up here first and 10. Here's Murray. He's got the rookie. That's Marvin Harrison Jr. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. That goes for 14 yards, first down Cardinals. A promising sign there from an offense that hasn't done a whole lot to this point. Nice job to locate the open receiver, and it's good yardage and a first down to open the drive. Here's Murray as he sets to throw it. A short one here caught by McBride. The Cardinals going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 14 seconds to go in this first half. Second down and a little more than a yard here. Here's Murray from midfield. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. And he'll take it down shy of 45 at the 46. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Now Murray. Got his man. It's Dorch. And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call.
So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. This will be spotted just shy of midfield, a 59-yard attempt. He had the distance, but it's no good. Wide to the right, and this will stay at a seven-point game. And this is a commentary on today's kickers and just how good they are that a coach would think about running his guy out there to try a 59-yarder. Here it backfires on them, but as a kicker, you have to appreciate the confidence that they showed in you. The final shot before the break for Herbert. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. So we have reached halftime with a touchdown. That's the difference on the scoreboard. As now we send you out to Orlando and hook back up with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. We were treated to a fine first half from running back J.K. Dobbins. He had a touchdown run that helped get his guys this halftime lead. Okay, Coach, thanks as always. This one's still anyone's game as we welcome you back for quarter number three. Just the one touchdown in that first half. 7-0 our score as we get going in quarter number three. Now a crease here as he's past the 30. And a good return, but he pays the price at the end of it as he's picked up and thrown down. Out comes the Chargers as they'll go on offense now to start this third quarter. And both of these defenses have been stifling these last few drives offensively. Just not able to get anything going, so what needs to change? I think a lot of the guys will go back and review, so to speak, because everyone has someone assigned to how did each play work? Okay, what did, what did we use that kind of worked for us during this game? Try and get back to some of those plays, as well as the possibility of showing something you haven't shown already in this game and trying to change things up. Let's we'll see if they take the advice of Mr. Davis. And down he goes at the 45 after a pickup of nine. Nothing fancy on first down, but a very consistent type of a play. Hit that slant. A lot of people call it an extension of the running game, and it can be if that pass is completed because you hit a guy on the run like that, he often can go for big yardage. Sets him up nicely for second down, staying ahead of schedule. Short throw to Disley. First target, first catch at a first down. So much goes into a successful play, doesn't it? How about that play action there? Freezing the defense just enough to bring the tight end free downfield for the completion. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. They'll fake the handoff. Now Herbert. That's going to be caught. It's Palmer. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. A well-executed 22-yard gain. And that's the kind of play this offense needs to maybe kick them into gear a little bit. They've been stuck in neutral much of the game. Perhaps that can give them a little bit of confidence that big plays are out there. They show run with three tight ends here on first down. So the false start will back them up five. The false start backs them up five, first and 15. Herbert. And that'll be off the mark, too far out in front, and it's incomplete. I like what they tried to do there. They didn't get a completed pass downfield, but they came up with a momentum play. Big time gain on the previous snap. Came right back and threw one deep, hoping to catch him on their heels. So they'll come up after the incompletion for second down. Herbert throwing again. Open man is Palmer. Call it a gain of six on the play, and that's going to set up a tough third and nine.
Here's Herbert. Oh, he had him. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. I know ultimately that feels like a good defensive play, but I know it's really not. They had a chance to keep points off the board. Now they have a chance to kick a field goal by missing that shot. Yeah, especially at this spot in the field. He's got to be upset he couldn't come up with that INT. And his kick is right there. It's good, and that will extend their lead even further. Well, they picked up right where they left off in the first half. First drive after the break, they come away with three and increase that lead. Yeah, and you just want to keep building on that lead, don't you? Whether it's six points or three points, take everything you can get, keep maneuvering, keep adding to it, keep making it difficult for them to come back. Now, after the Dicker field goal, he's back out, ready to send it away. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. The Cardinals offense now ready to get their first opportunity here in the second half. And their deficit a little wider now than it was at halftime following the field goal a moment ago. But the goal is still the same because you know they want to come out, establish a rhythm in the second half, and get going. Make no mistake about it, though. Kicking field goals, not in their game plan. They need to get involved in the end zone. Murray and the Cardinals with a first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. They'll start the drive with a give to Connor. He gets away from one. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Solid way to start the drive. 13 yards, picking up the first. Despite the score, despite the deficit, no quitting this guy. He's running angry, running through arm tackles. He wants to change what that scoreboard is saying. Right back to Connor here on first. And yeah, nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Elijah Molden up to make the stop. The free safety roaming all the way up to the line of scrimmage to make that stop. How about his ability to trust his eyes and figure out it was not a pass play and go fast towards the line of scrimmage in order to make that tackle? Murray now to throw. A short one here caught by McBride. Five yards, now it's third and five. They gave up the completion there, but this is what zone defenses count on. Catching the ball and not much run after the catch. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. To throw is Murray. And he's going to lose yardage here. As they will switch ends as time has run out on this third quarter of play. Three quarters in the books. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Welcome back to the desert. We're in Glendale. It's Cardinal football, but they trail here as we get set to bring you the fourth and final quarter. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter, let's see how this plays out. Flush to his right. The Cardinals unable to convert there on fourth down. And the Chargers will get the football back in excellent field position. So they really needed points here in a two-score game. Could not come away with anything there on fourth. And while we know they're a little bit discouraged here, they can't check out of this game. You and I have called a good number of games over the course of our career where we've seen these types of situations. Teams get the ball back, and that miracle does occur. So they can't let that dream go just yet. They have to get stout on defense here. Yeah, right now, really hoping for a turnover. First and ten, it's Dobbins. 
And a very determined run there as he'll take this all the way down to the 27. Good effort. Give him 15 yards on that one and a charger first down. And what a tough spot for this defense because they know it's coming, but they're just powerless to stop it. What a great run there to start the drive. And you can bet there'll be more where that came from as they try to ice this game away. A shotgun snap for Herbert. That's taken in by Palmer. So just three yards on the completion there. And it's second down. A play fake, and now Herbert to throw. Rolling to his left. And he'll maybe get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. All in all, no gain on the play, and it'll bring up third. Late in the game, he's certainly doing everything in his power to buy time for his guys to make a play, but in this case, he's surrounded, and all he has room to do is to get back to the line of scrimmage. The Chargers on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. This is third and seven. Now Herbert with it, looking to pass. Pass to the sideline and pulled in. And they will eventually get him down, but he's inside the five all the way to the three. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. When you have someone throwing it that well, that confidently, you don't have to call the game in fear at all, do you? You just go ahead and play. Yep, confidence with a lead to throw it here in the fourth, and boom, he's on the money. Yeah, you don't have to tuck your head in and take look like turtle at this point. You can just go ahead and play. Herbert now. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. Well, I think he's as fine with that incompletion as a quarterback can be, in all honesty. He avoided his first sack of the game, and he did have a chance of connecting for yardage, just unable to on that throw. They'll go again from the three here on second and goal. Edwards diving for the end zone, and he'll get there. Touchdown. Extra point try now from Dicker. He's got it, and it's 17-0. So the drive there took six plays, and it was polished off by the Gus Edwards touchdown run. So after the touchdown, here's Dicker out to kick this one off. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. Here's the Arizona offense now as they get set to take over. And let's face it, this drive is not going to have any bearing on this game, but it's kind of important for one reason, isn't it? It certainly is. You got to get points. And okay, all right, I'm being facetious here. But you get points, you feel a little bit better about yourself as you move on to the next one. So first and 10 now from the 30. To throw, it's Murray. Caught by Wilson. The Cardinals going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Murray going to throw. He's got McBride here over the middle. 
And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. That goes for 14 yards, first down Cardinals. Well, those are the types of plays they probably wish they had made more of in the first three quarters. And this deficit going to be tough to overcome here in the fourth, but a nice first down and a pickup on that throw. Yeah, and this is where as coaches, you're looking for effort and execution, even though the scoreboard is going against you. You want to find out who's going to fight, who's going to scrap, who's going to keep their heads up and continue to play. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. Here's Murray. A quick throw there is incomplete. Well, the trials and tribulations of being a quarterback in this league, it's tough. It's got to be wearing on him out there. Well, he has been sacked a number of times. He had an interception, so I'm going to give him a skosh of credit for hanging in there and trying to make something happen, despite the amount of pressure he's been under this entire game. Again, they'll throw with Murray. Over the middle, he'll get it to Harrison. Now the Cards going to call another timeout, their second, as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Now they need two. Here's third down. Murray now. And that's going to be incomplete. The coverage too good there. The contact popped the ball free, and it's fourth down. Another pass attempt, another incompletion, and they're just a little over 100 yards passing here in this game, so defensively, pretty good job. Definitely, because they were never really able to get the ball in the hands of their playmakers. So a lot of credit to the defensive game plan and especially the execution. They'll run for it with Connor, and he is not going anywhere. They stop him for no gain. They had to go for it with such little time remaining, and the Charger defense stands tall, and they get the football back. So they tried to go for it for pride, but it really wouldn't have mattered. This one, it was already determined. No doubt about it. This one was over a while ago. The offense for Los Angeles returns to the field. And this one all over but the shouting, you might say. Now, there's one timeout remaining defensively, but probably no real need to use it here. Yeah, the only time they would use it, strictly for pride. The D can only stop it one more time as they take the knee. A shotgun snap and a give to Dobbins. Tough running, but not a lot to show for it. They stop him shy of the 25. The second down play, not much better than the first. Just a gain of one there. Charles, why didn't they just take the knee there? You're asking the question that I'm asking as well, because we've seen a lot of football where coaches decide maybe they get a little greedy. I don't know if they're doing it for stats or for what reason. We've seen it happen in college. And how about in the NFL? The miracle of the Meadowlands. All they had to do was take a knee and the game was over. The Giants ran it one more time. Ball popped free. Philadelphia picks it up and wins the game. What year was that? 1978. I think it was in November. So this one's over. It's in the win column for the L.A. Chargers. And they did it in shutout fashion. Impressive. Would it be too bland of a statement to say they didn't have the greatest day offensively? I mean, you did know. enough, though. Did enough. But yeah, you're right. Most games, it wouldn't have been enough. So they've got to go into the locker room and applaud their defensive mates and say, guys, you really carried us today. We'll try and get you back next time. But as for today, you guys were nails out there. So that'll do it for us, for my partner, Charles Davis, and all the hardworking men and women on our crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL right here on EA Sports. With that, we say good night from Glendale.